All right, guys, just here doing a quick review video for IAT two temps on my 2012 CTSV after installing an AEM uh, V3 meth kit. Now I'm spraying pre boost, spraying into the inlet of the blower. The mods on the car are 2.38 upper headers cam, does have some cooling mods like an upgraded heat exchanger, um, Pierberg pump. Uh, I also have the under the hood ice tank, which I'm not a big fan of. If I was to do it again, I'd do the trunk tank under the hood. It's it's just a tank of hot water, but for now it's doing the job. Um, anyways, I got the AEM V3 meth kit just for when I run 93 octane, and I want to keep IAT two temps in check on hot days. Um, it, it also helps prevent detonation a little bit a little bit of boost the octane but me personally i'm using the 250 cc nozzle because it did not require any changes to fueling um you pretty much you could run it without the meth or with and air fuel ratio did not change um, when i tried the 500 cc and 1000 cc nozzles it was a pretty drastic change um so you'd have to adjust your tune um but like i said i'm only using this for IAT temp benefits, I'm not looking to you know cushion my fuel system or run another you know eight degrees of timing. If I wanted to, I could probably run another degree or two, but then I'd have to be careful if I wasn't using the meth. So I just kind of left that alone. Um, let's see what else. So pretty basic setup, anyways. Um, there's a short video in my video page of the basic basic rundown of the kit so anyways let's get started so this is the first run we started off engine coolant 187 iat2 there we go we started off the engine coolant 183 let me spin this you can see it better iat2 99 so this is without the meth guys We're starting at 60 miles an hour it's a short pull it's all i had you know, room for I guess I'd say I'll try to do a full track run one day um, so we ended the run at 140 so at the end of the run IAT2 is 131 um, and you cool it didn't change so just to review so we started at 99 degree IAT2 temp ended at 131 so that's a 32 degree rise without the meth so the system it's a decent working system. It's about 80 degrees out, so it's not blazing hot, but it's warm. Um, let's see. All right. Now, now we're going to review with the AEM meth kit. Oops. All right. There we go. So the car was a little bit heat-soaked. Engine coolant was 198. I hit a couple traffic lights, some traffic. But same thing. We started the run at 60 and let's see, IET two was a little IET two was a little warmer too. It was one hundred four at the start of the run. Previous was ninety nine. So, anyways, going across is the speed. You can see the IET two climbing. At one forty, we had one twenty four, maybe one twenty six after. Something like that. The IAT2 sensor does bounce a little bit, I guess. Anyways, so there it is. End of the run. Same speed. We had 124 for IAT2. Um, so that's 104 in the beginning. 124 at the end of the run. So a 20 degree rise versus 32 degree rise without the meth. So it's a pretty decent improvement. I think uh, if my heat exchanger and pump wasn't upgraded the difference would be more significant the one thing i gotta say is i wish i did the trunk tank it's just so much more effort but i think it's worth it versus the under the hood ice tank um anyways pretty happy with the kit for a couple hundred bucks you get a you get the better iat temp which it just makes a world of difference in power on these blower cars um so much safer too iat two temps is what causes detonation once you have the high iat2 you just open up a world of problems possibly um and i run 93 octane a lot of the year so having the little bit of meth 
it helps keep the octane up a little bit. Um, if I'm really racing, the car will be on E85 if I know I'm going to a track event or anything like that. I imagine these temps would be even better on E85. Uh, hopefully one day there's a station closer than one hour away to my house. But anyways, that's just a quick, uh, quick overview. If you got any questions or anything like that, just leave in the comments or shoot me a message. Thanks.